Hey Pisces, this will happen in the next 48 hours for November the 7th through November the 8th, 2023. Universal energies, show me what I need to see for the star sign of Pisces for November the 7th through November the 8th, 2023. Universal energies, show me what I need to see. For the star sign of Pisces for November the 7th through November the 8th, 2023. Universal energies, show me what I need to see. For the star sign of Pisces for November the 7th through November the 8th, 2023. Show me. You guys, subscribe, like, comment, and share these videos. If this does not resonate with you, check your moon, rising, and Venus sign videos. I do not read reversals. If you're interested in a private reading, you can reach me at herimmortalmajesty at gmail.com. So, Pisces. Pisces, these are your cards, honey. So, Pisces, you have the Page of Cups. Scorpio Cancer or Pisces. This is news or a message about a deep emotional connection. These are love messages or news of love. But this could also be the news about what love produce because there's a fish in this cup. So love messages and an apology. So Pisces, you could be receiving love messages and an apology. You could be sending out love messages and an apology. Very well could be that we found love messages and heard the news of someone sharing love or some news about what love produced because pages are children and there's a fish in this cup. Clarify the page of cups for Pisces. Clarify the page of cups for Pisces. Clarify the page of cups. For Pisces, it is clarified with the sun. Could be dealing with a Leo, but the sun symbolizes exuberance, illumination, happiness, joy, peace, love, abundance, growth and development and freedom. Could be dealing with a Leo, but you can tell me that you're happy, you want to be happy, you're over the moon, or something was illuminated, something came to light. Clarify the sun for Pisces. Clarify the sun for Pisces. Clarify the sun for Pisces. It is clarified with the Queen of Swords. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. This queen is a no-nonsense type of queen. She already knows the truth. She'll let you speak your truth to bring more clarity, but she has no problems with cutting people, places, and things out of her life that no longer serve her. So listen, Pisces could be dealing with Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Or someone with air prominent in their chart. However, you could be taking on the energy of this Queen of Swords and cutting something out. Also with the Queen of Swords, this can be legal documentation or paperwork. Clarify the Queen of Swords for Pisces. Clarify the Queen of Swords for Pisces. Clarify the Queen of Swords for Pisces. It is clarified with the Ten of Cups. Scorpio, Cancer, or Pisces. This is emotional fulfillment. This is the apex card. This is the happy family, happy life, happy wife, happy, stable, committed relationship, and happy home. This is what we're all striving for. So we're speaking of marriage, commitment, home, family, emotional fulfillment. So Pisces, listen, someone very well may have commitment on the brain here. But in tarot, tens are ending, so it could be an ending to you guys' commitment, marriage, living together situation, or family dynamics. Now listen, Pisces, you can tell me that there's some type of romantic news or a gesture here about commitment and filing some type of legal documentation or paperwork to go into commitment, something that makes you happy here. Or Pisces, you're telling me that something was illuminated, something came to light concerning maybe children or the fact that we found love messages and heard the news of someone sharing love. So there is a cutting off and an ending of a commitment. 
So either someone wants to go into commitment here or we're coming up out of a commitment. You have the tower. The tower is Aries and Scorpio's energy. This is something that you don't see coming. Something that catches you completely off guard. Something that just rocks the foundation of you guys' relationship. This is a shock in our moment. A moment of revelation. Now this can be a shocking shakeup or breakup. So listen, Pisces, very well could be a shocking surprise, shocking revelation, something being revealed, or a breakup. Clarify the tower for Pisces. Clarify the tower for Pisces. Clarify the tower for Pisces. It is clarified with the Empress. Could be dealing with a Libra mm -hmm, or a Taurus, but the Empress signifies beauty, fertility, creativity, nurturing energy, love, abundance, growth, and development. This is a pregnant woman. She is symbolic of the Mother Earth. She takes the seed of something and nurtures it so that it grows abundantly. Could be dealing with a Libra or a Taurus. Could be dealing with a spouse because the Empress is a married, stable, committed person. Could be dealing with the parent of your child or someone who's expecting. Now, this can be about your abundance, but it could also be about nurturing the relationship. Clarify the Empress for Pisces. Clarify the Empress for Pisces. Clarify the Empress for Pisces. It is clarified with the moon. This is you, Pisces. But the moon symbolizes secrets or things that are not yet known. It can symbolize moodiness, depression, vivid dreams, deep emotions, intuition, but secrets. So Pisces, this is you. Clarify the moon for Pisces. Clarify the moon for Pisces. What about Pisces? What about Pisces? Clarify the moon. Flying cards. What about Pisces? What about Pisces? Clarify the moon for Pisces. It is clarified with the fool. Could be dealing with Aries, but the fool symbolizes to take a leap of faith, take a chance, take a risk, and set out on a brand new journey to do a brand new thing, sight unseen, just throwing caution to the wind and just doing it. So Pisces could be dealing with an Aries, but you can tell me, hey, I just want to up and do something, take this leap of faith, set out on this brand new journey. Or you're telling me that someone took a risk or a chance in you guys' relationship. Clarify the fool for Pisces. Clarify the fool for Pisces. Clarify the fool for Pisces. It is clarified with the three of swords. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. This is heartbreak. This is pain. This is suffering. This is agony caused by a third party situation. So when I say third party, yes, a romantic third party. But this could also be meddling family members, friends, co-workers, neighbors, anyone being involved in you guys' relationship that shouldn't be that is causing you heartbreak. So Pisces, you're telling me that you're hurt. Now, you can tell me that your feelings are hurt or you're hurt because there's a third party. Now, Pisces, listen, if this card did not fall out, because that's how one card can change the whole meaning of the sentence and the whole meaning of the read. Because if it wasn't for this card, I can say, you know what? There's a shocking surprise here about nurturing the relationship further. And you, Pisces, may want to take this leap with this person because someone may want to go into commitment here. But because this card showed up, it's a whole nother story here. So Pisces, you're telling me that there is a shocking revelation. Something has been revealed here. And like I said, children could be involved because we have this empress sitting here. Some type of secret coming out about someone taking a risk or a chance in you guys' relationship with a third party. You could also tell me that this secret that is being revealed here is the fact that you found love messages and heard the news of them sharing love with a third party here. Pisces, you have the Ace of Cups. Scorpio, Cancer, or Pisces. This is a brand new beginning in love. A brand new beginning in a deep emotional connection. This is love overflowing. A brand new blessing. A brand new beginning in love. So Pisces, new love... <laughs> 
new love, new start to love, or a blessing here. Okay. <sighs> Clarify the Ace of Cups for Pisces. Clarify the Ace of Cups for Pisces. Clarify the Ace of Cups for Pisces. It is clarified with the magician. Could be dealing with an Aquarius, but you're trying to manifest, trying to make something happen. And you have all the tools and resources available to you to manifest whatsoever you will. You have the water element, the earth element, the air element, the fire element, and the ethers. So with great focus and intent, you can manifest. So listen, Pisces could be dealing with an Aquarius, but you're trying to make something happen here. Clarify the magician for Pisces. Clarify the magician for Pisces. Clarify the magician for Pisces. It is clarified with the three of cups. Scorpio, Cancer, or Pisces. This is, we are reunited, and it feels so good. Let's go out, eat, drink, and be merry, and celebrate. Celebrate that we're reunited, and it feels so good. But this can also speak to there being a third-party situation going on. Mm. So, Pisces, listen, you can tell me you have just cause to celebrate. You can tell me that you guys are reuniting, or there's a third party. Now, listen, Pisces. You can tell me that you were trying to manifest you guys having just cause to celebrate with a new era in love. Because maybe commitment was on the table first before some type of shocking secret came out here. You can tell me that even though this shocking secret has come out here, maybe you're still trying to manifest starting new and reuniting with this person. Or you're telling me that you're trying to manifest someone new because they had a third party. And this new person that you're trying to manifest maybe could be someone that you, you've known before. Pisces. You have the Eight of Swords. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. This is you feeling stuck. Like you're in a self-imposed prison of your thoughts. This is you feeling like you can't move, but you can move because it's all mental. This is you refusing to see some things, refusing to acknowledge some things, a lack of information, block communication. This is you feeling stuck, trapped, and blocked. So Pisces, listen, you're telling me you're feeling stuck in a situation or there's blocked communication. Clarify the Eight of Swords for Pisces. Clarify the Eight of Swords. For Pisces, clarify the Eight of Swords. For Pisces, it is clarified with the Nine of Cups. Scorpio, Cancer, or Pisces. This is wish fulfillment, but this can also speak to you feeling smug or overindulging in alcohol or substance abuse. So Pisces, listen, you can tell me that you're getting your wish. Could be feeling smug here or overindulging, trying to numb out. Now, Pisces, you can tell me that you're stuck on whether or not you want this wish. Mm -hmm. Yeah. You can tell me that you could be feeling smug that you're blocking this person. Like I said, you could be stuck on whether or not you want to go forward with this wish because it could have started off good, really good here. But something happened. Something is being discovered. You have strength. Could be dealing with a Leo. But the universe is calling for you to have strength, courage, determination, motivation to keep moving forward and to do the right thing. But this is also a card of you trying to tame your lust, tame your passions, trying to restrain yourself, restrict yourself, and hold yourself back from something. So Pisces could be dealing with a Leo. But you can tell me that you're feeling extremely weak here. You can tell me that you're restraining yourself, restricting yourself, and holding yourself back. Or trying to muster the strength and courage to do something. Clarify strength for Pisces. Clarify strength for Pisces. Clarify strength for Pisces. It is clarified with the Two of Swords. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. This is you needing to make a decision. But you're in the dark about some things. Some things you just refuse to see, refuse to acknowledge. A lack of information. Block communication. So it's hard for you to make an informed decision in this position. 
But this is also a card of you being closed off, blocked off, not wanting to see, wanting to ignore, wanting to turn a blind eye. So listen, Pisces, either you're indecisive or you're blocking here. So Pisces, you can tell me that, hey, I'm indecisive, I'm stuck, or rather not, I want this wish. I need to be strong here and make a decision. Or you're telling me that you're trying to muster the strength and courage to block this person. Maybe you just want to block them. I feel like both things could be happening here. Because like I said, I feel like you guys may have been primed to start something new era in love here, but something happened, okay? And now you're stuck on whether or not you want to go forward with your wish or whether or not you just want to block them out, try to be strong and block them out here. I'm going to take a look at the situation ship for you, Pisces. This is just additional messages here. says loss ghosted block cut off well i guess i got my answer loss ghosted block cut off blocked block block okay they lost what else for pisces what else for pisces Love affair, dirty little secret, down low. Love affair, dirty little secret, down low. Third party, you could have found these love messages or heard some news concerning someone expecting here. Dirty little secret being exposed here. If you're interested in a private reading, you can reach me at herimmortalmajesty at gmail.com. Pisces, this will happen in the next 48 hours for November the 7th through November the 8th, 2023. You guys, give me feedback. Subscribe, like, comment, and share. And follow me on Twitter at herimmortalmaj, M-A-J. And I'll see you guys next week. Peace.